famed Atco drag strip in Atco, New Jersey, just east of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's the NTPA Grand Nationals and thousands of fans that jam their way here to the Speedway to see not drag racing, but tractor and truck pulling. This multi-purpose course is set up with a good 300-foot clay sand course, so it's gonna take some driving ability out here. We've got 19 in the class, the two-wheel drive super modified, so let's go to the action right now. LD Nation built this two-wheel drive super modified truck a couple of years ago. The former pulling champion from Kansas had a triple engine dragster tractor. And then he decided that he wanted to go to a little bit different class, so he entered the two-wheel drive super modified class, which has become one of the most popular classes with pulling fans all over the country, and especially on the NCPA Grand National Circuit. Now, LD Nation is running basically the same engine that he ran in his dragster tractors, the big Aries engine, which has become so popular here in tractor and truck pulling, along with alcohol drag racing. This is a 1934 Ford delivery panel van driven by LD Nation. He's a long way here from New Jersey, all the way from the state of Kansas. Beautiful blue truck, our test puller here in the two-wheel drive, super modified. the track here at the end of this 300 foot course he's close to the end of the track right on the finish line it's too close to call ld nation you made the inaugural run here as they heavied up the sled what's your observations of the track uh the track's gonna be a good track tonight uh, it's improved a lot today and uh, i think uh, they'll see a real good pull here tonight all right you have the number one spot will that help you in the final standings oh uh, well i'd like to bend down the line but that was the number i got so i hope it stands good LD Nation makes the first pull here tonight at Atco Speedway at the NTPA Grand Nationals. The test puller right down at the end of the track had a super good run, but he's not sure if it will hold up. 19 in the class, and they're all good ones. One of the most famed and tough pullers in America today is Wayne Roush with the little red truck out of Dublin, Ohio. Well, this puller has seen just about every type of track conditions clear across the nation. And he's a former past Grand National Champion of the NCPA. Wayne Rauch, the former professor of dairy science at Ohio State for 13 years, a couple of years ago decided to give up the university life and become a professional puller. He loves it. He has two trucks entered in the competition. Wayne Rauch running the big KB, Keith Black, Chrysler, Hemi. Sounds like Wayne's engine has gone sour. One of the cylinders on the right bank of the engine, spewing a lot of raw alcohol out of that engine. You can hear the RPMs drop down as he came down the course, and he is going to be far short of the finish line where LD Nation made his inaugural run. Wayne Rousey had a tough run coming down the track. What happened to the engine? Well, I think I had it too high a gear, Dave. It was, um, I had a good launch, and I thought it'd be a pretty good pull, but we, it's the second run on this motor, and we don't have it really tuned up like we're going to have it yet. It's LD Nation's in the lead at 299 and 6. Can anybody catch him? I think that's a good possibility. There'd be two or three that'll make full pulls. Charles Nicholson, his beautiful Chevrolet. A lot of these two-wheel drive trucks looking super out there with the paint jobs that you'd be very similar on the drag racing strip in the funny car. Now, Charles is a rookie driver here on the NCPA Grand National Circuit. And as he backs up to the sled, he's got to make that determination whether to put weight on the back or the front of his vehicle. Let's see how his run progresses here tonight and if it pays off and he has enough weight on the front end. the line blazing it he has broken the front end he was looking at nothing but sky as he come down the track and that's just a sort of jitters out there in the part of this rookie driver you can see he did not have enough weight out on the front end to hold it down and when you go 
light on the nose and you go sky high, you're going to have problems when that front end comes down. A tough break for this beautiful looking Ford. Up to the sled now is Trent Best out of Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. This Chevrolet Love now, one of the newcomers on the NTPA Grand National Circuit. He's lined up the sled here again on the right-hand side of the track. Evidently, the drivers have maybe found a spot or a groove in the track. The track's a little on the sandy side, although we may have some runs way down here at the far end of the track. He comes off the line, has a slow start, but now he picks up some speed. He's high in the air. Best Chevrolet Love comes down the left side side of the track, but he angles to the other side. And Trent Best makes a very solid run. Great to see these newcomers on the Grand National Circuit make solid runs at pulls like this big one. The in-laws and the outlaws, one of the biggest names in two-wheel drive truck pulling. And of course, it was a big name many years ago in the mini rod competition. But a change in driver here tonight, Tim Engler doing the driving for one of the top teams in the country. Jim Brockman, unable to be here for this event. This in-laws and outlaws team has made more pizzazz at tractor and truck pulling events around the country, almost to anybody. This is the 1908 Chevrolet C-Cab. Jim Brockman wanted to do something a little bit different a couple of years ago, so he decided to build a replica. It turned out to be a winner. Let's see what they can do here tonight. Tim Engler makes a valiant try to beat LD Nation, but he falls a little short. Engler, one of the veteran tractor pullers on the NTPA circuit. The track looks like it's a challenge here tonight. What do you think is going to happen? You're now in second at 277, but 22 feet ahead of you is LD Nation at 299 and 6. Is that going to hold up, or can somebody go past that distance? Well, we're going to go back and run Jim's other truck, so we're going to give it 110%. We're going to shoot for LD. I think he had an excellent run. It's going to be hard to beat, but I think we can do it. Well, if anybody could do it here at ATCO, it's Tim Engler. He's had plenty of driving practice, no matter what kind of vehicle he's been in. He knows how to bend that throttle. He's got another shot here tonight. Tonight's event here at ATCO Speedway in ATCO, New Jersey, as a who's who in two-wheel drive super modified. And one of the biggest and the best is John Heilman. Heilman, the former national champion three times with his super modified dragster tractor, also decided to be a little bit different a couple of years ago. And he came out with a Ford Thunderbird Turbo Coupe with the big supercharged Chevrolet engine, believe it or not, under the hood. Heilman now trying to beat 299 and 6. He has the experience and the horsepower. Let's see what he can do. John Heilman having a couple of rough spots coming off the starting line. You can see the rear of the two-wheel drive funny car was bouncing up and down, so he did not get launched properly off the starting line. A tough break for him. The engine came to life pretty good, but then he went high on the nose. Here again, the drivers are trying to take some chances at Atco, put as much weight as they can on the rear end. They get the traction in this clay, but a little bit sandy track. The Purple People Eater. <laughs> I tell you, they've taken a lot of ribbing in their day over the color of their vehicles. But boy, I tell you, when it comes to competition, they know how to put the hammer down. It's the Hilton team, Floyd Hilton. And later on in this class, we'll be back with his son, Ed. They're out of Wittemac, Indiana. Big farm country in the Midwest. And believe it or not, this is a Porsche. A Porsche 917, like they used to run in Europe on the road courses. This purple fiberglass body turns the crowd on wherever it goes around the country. And this past year, they have turned a lot of power on. Let's see if they can do it here at Atco. Floyd Toy making a nice run right down the center of the track. That big Aries coming to life. You'll notice the Aries engine 
way out forward on the Porsche body. That's to try to balance the two-wheel drive super modified. John Cunningham, Jr. out of Newville, Pennsylvania with the Chevrolet. We've got a number of drivers here on the East Coast, the eastern part of the U.S. have decided to come in here to the Grand Nationals on this Copenhagen Skull Pulling Circuit event. They like to tangle with the big boys. 19 in the class, they've all got a shot at winning. It's a lot of fun, whether you're involved in other forms of motors, quarter tractor, and truck pulling, to come and tangle with some of the notable names. Let's see now, John Cunningham leads the line. A good start. It's a very nice pull here on Atco. A superb run. He got everything out of that two-wheel drive Chevrolet that he possibly could. A beautiful machine, an excellent run. Now, the distance still to beat in this class is 299 and 6, held by LD Nation out of Kansas with this 1934 Ford delivery. The in-laws and outlaws are currently number two at 277 and 2. So these drivers, as they continue on in this tough pulling class, have got some big numbers to shoot at here tonight at Atco. Well, these Chevrolets really keep coming at you here at Atco, and here's another good-looking machine. Robert Branson now has positioned the sled just about of the center part of the pulling track. This track may pull a little bit better now as the sun goes down and the moisture comes up. The Edgewater Express, driven by Robert Branson, will take that run any day. What a picture-perfect bull. Maybe the most beautiful run we've had here tonight at Atco, even though it falls short of the 299 and 6 of Nation. That is a beautiful bull, and he has got to be mighty happy with that one. Up next, the other half of the purple team from Winnemac, Indiana. That beautiful purple. Believe it or not, that's a Dodge Omni. Figure that one out. They lengthen the wheelbase a little bit. Ed Hilton is the driver. And of course, his dad, Floyd Hilton, made a run of 266 and 6 a little bit earlier in this class. So let's see if this father and son team can have some competitiveness out there. And son Ed may try to beat that earlier run. Another Aries setting in is the power plant for this Dodge Omni. Another good pull for Floyd, just like for Bob Brenton or John Cunningham Jr. Going pretty good coming out of the hole, but I hit the wet hole, and you could just feel the mud, you know, just take it down. That's right about 150 right in there is going to be hard to get through. Top spot right now is a 299 and 6. Can anybody beat it? I don't think nobody's back here is going to beat it. Jim might be with Kodiak, but it'll be tough getting through that. Like I said, the moisture's starting to come up in the track now for the two-wheelers, and it's going to be bad. Tim Engler makes his second appearance here on the Atco track, driving Jim Brockman's Dodge of the in-laws and outlaws pulling team from Northern Indiana. That top spot to beat is still 299 and 6. So he's got to let it all hang out. He won't back off the throttle one bit. He'll bend the pedal to the metal. Remember, this is going to be a close one. 299 and 6, the distance to beat. Angler coming off the left-hand side, angling across the track, a spectacular pull. Up next, one of the true champions of the NTPA Grand National Copenhagen Skull Pulling Circuit. Here comes Wayne Roush out of Dublin, Ohio. Now, Roush made a run earlier this evening and had some tough luck coming down the track. He just did not have the kind of pull that he wanted to make had some engine problems, but now he gets a second shot. One of the few guys in the class with two vehicles. 
The moisture in the track now beginning to come up in the track, and the pulling may be a little harder. However, Wayne now going over into the groove where Tim Engler went with the in-laws and outlaws on that left-hand side. We've seen some good runs come down the track. Here's one of the guys in this class who's got a great shot at taking the lead here at Atco at this Copenhagen Skull Pulling Circuit event. taking any chances as he digs up the track. A little heavy out on the nose. That big Keith Black 500 cubic inch Chrysler Hemi motor propelling that Model T Ford truck down the track in fine style. Excellent run, but just not quite far enough. Well, the Chevrolets really keep coming at you here at Atco, and here's another good looking machine. Kenneth Wheeler from Moscow, Pennsylvania. He goes to the opposite side of the track. It looks like he has probably blown an engine out there. It's still running. And that is on his final gasping breath right there. Something special comes to a halt. That Chevrolet made a good start off the line, but the engine went sour about halfway down the track. And we may start seeing some oil now coming out onto the track. That will spell disaster. Well, it appears that maybe a rod let go or something and kind of put a window on the side to block. What size the engine you're running out there? About that big. <laughs> and not quite so big right now. Yeah, yeah, it's a little lighter right now. It's like a little less aluminum in it, you know. Only one driver has a shot at winning the pull here tonight. Bud Jasky out of near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with the Miller High Life two-wheel drive. Now, Jasky is the veteran puller. He's been a national champion in the four-wheel drive truck class. And, of course, his son, Steve, is also in the modified dragster class as well. So these guys, this family team, knows how to put the pedal to the metal. They have plenty of horsepower with these big Aries engines, and they've got lots of driving experience as well. 299 and 6. It's the distance to beat. Here comes the draft team in the Miller Highlight team. Oh, and you can see there's something dangling from the side of the engine. They might have uh, broken the distributor out there. And his son Steve and Helper have gone out to track side, and they say, oh, shuck, Dad. Something went wrong because they came off the line in good fashion. And they were a strong team and certainly had a chance to beat LD Nation. So LD Nation here at Atco Speedway wins the two-wheel drive super modified. A couple of guys came close, but it wasn't close enough. When truck and tractor pulling all began, it was a fantasy. From the farm tractors to the multi-engine powerhouse, never has pulling been so competitive as on the grand national level. Come to an NTPA Copenhagen Skull Pulling Circuit event and witness competition like you've never seen before. Joining us at an NTPA Grand National event guarantees you action-packed pulling with some of the biggest names in the sport. Look for the next NTPA sanctioned pull near you. As Power Pack Motorsports can and one, of course, came out the winner. At 299 and 6, LD Nation, you won it. You held the lead for the entire class, and you must have been on pins and needles just a little bit watching all of these tough competitors come down the track one right after another. Yeah, I'll tell you, anytime you win, it's a big win for me. It's hard to do it in this kind of competition because everybody's got so good at rigs that uh, it's hard to make a win. Well, congratulations. Thank you. LD Nation wins it here at 299 and 6. Not quite a full pull, but it was good enough to win here at Atco Speedway at the NTPA Grand National Pull on the Copenhagen Skull Pulling Circuit. I'm Dave Grimm. So long, everybody. <laughs>